Today, hundreds of marches took place from coast to coast in the battle over abortion rights. The first women's march of the Biden administration headed straight for the steps of the Supreme Court this morning. Demonstrators demanding continued access to abortion. Pro-life organizers held rallies as well. News Nation's Felicia Bolton has more from both sides. And Felicia, Texas's new abortion law is a big part of what's spurring these latest protests. That's right, Rudy Bay. The flashpoint is that latest law out of Texas is now the most restrictive in the nation. It bans abortions at six weeks weeks, which is a time when many women don't even know they're pregnant. Pro-choice protesters are standing their ground today. They're voicing their opposition against the state law and urging the high court to overturn it, while pro-lifers are counting this law as a major win. Where do we fight? Where do we The demonstrators are happening right before the start of a new term for the Supreme Court. You might remember about a month ago, the high court denied a request from abortion and women's health providers to block enforcement of the ban in Texas in a five to four decision. Now a case out of Mississippi is next on the docket today, just two days before the Supreme Court reconvenes. Scores of women's rights advocates took to the streets of D.C., joining marches across the United States to protest against recent efforts to restrict abortion access. Access. And they aren't the only ones voicing their opinions on this matter. And our government and men have no say in the outcome when it comes to our bodies. And furthermore, for the people who um, don't support women's right to choose, it's those same people who don't believe in social programs to care for unwanted children. Ultimately, all of this is a waste of taxpayer resources and a foolish attempt to try to circumvent the will of Texans who support the Texas Heartbeat Act. And this week, supporters of that Texas abortion law also had their own rallies. For pro-lifers, they are hoping the new law can be the tipping point to end Roe versus Wade altogether. After appointments of justices by President Trump strengthen conservative control of the high court. Coming up in our next half hour, I'll take a closer look at how this Mississippi case could affect our nation and what will happen next with the Supreme Court. Rudy Bay.